I'm Janet Prensky, she's Anne Marie Eigner, and we are the Boomer Broads. We're Woo-hoo. spatting already. Oh, yeah, we've been fighting all day. <laughs> Just like girlfriends do. Which, Which brings us to today's show, doesn't yes, it? Yes, friendships. Friendships. And Which, we're old friends, you know. 25 years. 26 years. All right, 26 years. I am at. I, but who's counting, and really? 20 of them. Are very, <laughs> very <Oddly. laughs> different. We've had six good years, actually. No, just kidding. You know, I kid you. You're my dear friend. And. and it gets more and more important the longer we go yeah. along, doesn't it? Well, that's yeah. and we how won't. I've been feeling, and, and then something happened this week which made me reminded me even more of how important the further I move into boomerdom, the f- more important the friendships really are. Yeah. And, and a lot of you uh, keep in touch with us through Facebook, and I will say the social networking mm. world has been a juggernaut for the boomers because we've all found our old high school friends, college friends, elementary school friends. It's been very, it's fun. Some of it's a little scary when those old boyfriends creep in. It's a little scary, but on the whole, it's really fun. To I think find it's very exciting, and that's basically what's been happening the last couple of years for me, is I've been reconnecting with old friends, or actually old friends have been reconnecting with me. And when I say old, we're talking 50 years ago. So well, yeah, we're you know, you, you talking have some, old. You have some age, Older. you? Older. <laughs> a little bit of age. Um, and, uh, you know, there are so, so many great role models for great female friends. Some of them, sadly, are fictional. Right you here. Know, Wilma and Betty. Oh, wow. Who's my Wilma and Betty? Wilma and Betty. Laverne and oh, Shirley. Laverne and Shirley. What a classic. Rhoda and Mary. Ethel. And Lucy. and Lucy. Of course. Well, we were going to save them, but you've given All that right, away. I'm right. sorry. Uh, some of our fans wrote in Cagney and Lacey, which was a great one. Great one. Okay, great one. And then, of course, there's Paris Hilton, and she has, you know, Nicole Richie, yeah. and she has I'm Kimberly Stewart. I'm not sure that Stewart, those are real friends. And she think? has Nikki Hilton, and she has a friend look, uh, she has a show looking for a BFF. <laughs> the poor girl doesn't know what a real girlfriend and is. And what about Courtney these? Cox and Jennifer Aniston. That's a good one. Good one. What real about these friends. guys? Oh, the Golden Girls. The Golden Girls. Are they all dead? No, no, two, no, two. no, Oh, no, well, no. Betty White is a dead good lord. Sorry, Don't Betty. Don't even say that. Sorry, Bubba. And, of course, Thelma and Louise, which I always thought you and I were like, you know, <laughs> one part Thelma and Louise, two parts Lucy and Ethel. And so who's going to push whom off the cliff, really? And what defines a good friend? You're loyal, obviously. When I yeah, when we ab- go out on a date and I have to go to the ladies' room, you have to go with me. <laughs> That's the sign of a female friend. <laughs> Ladies, you know I'm right. And what? I think really what defines a good friend is the ability to laugh. Yep. I and we certainly you. keep each other laughing. We do, you know, challenge each other. Oh, you upset me sometimes, but on really? the whole, you keep me happy. You and don't you know, upset me no. ever, though. No, ever. I know. I know I don't. You're perfect. I know. I know. <laughs> um, you know what scares me, though, or I don't trust it, are those women who say, all of my friends are men. I really don't have, like the Megan Foxes, the Angelina Jolies. What does it say about a woman who doesn't have female friends? I'm not going to, I don't, you know, I say that because of what my, and I'll I'll refer to this a little bit more in a minute, but um, my kids grew up and they were friends with opposite gender. Um, And I I thought that's very different. When I grew up, most of my friends were girls. And we talked about the boys. Of course. We weren't. We didn't hang out with the boys. We had sleepover parties. But things and have changed. About the boys. Things. I think things have changed. Well, I mean, there there are many who feel you cannot possibly have an actual platonic relationship with the opposite sex. I used to feel that way, but my kids have proven me differently. Yeah. I, I, I've proven it differently. I think that they are. Dan is shaking his head, so he obviously well, agrees I do. with you. I think there's really, there's always something there. There's a thread there, unless they're gay, which is always a good way to go. <laughs> Nothing better than a gay male friend, and you know who I'm talking about. Um, but, I mean, they're the best. But I, I do oh, how think about it's Oprah and Gail? Beautiful. Speaking of gay and everybody thinks they are just because they are best typical, friends. Typical, typical, yeah. typical. We hope they're not. We don't, I don't oh, care no, if they not. are or not. First Go all, ahead and may you be. That would be a good story. Be First gay. of all, they're not. And second, because they say they're not. And I tend to say, well, you know, if I they were, it. I don't think they would deny it. Why would you deny it? Um, and I think that they are best, 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 best friends. I agree. And I understand that. Because I that's agree. how I feel And then you. there are the frenemies. Like the Real Housewives, <laughs> I like to always. I hate to go There's through one show real about, about mentioning them, by the, the way. Real Housewives, 
but that's like that friendly enemy and we have a lot of those in our you know industry you'll have a friend of me and uh, the Olympics just took place and there are many frenemies in the Olympics obviously people who are friends but when it comes time to compete oh an definitely enemy. so frenemies are fun too and women Lindsay and and Julia and, the, and Julie isn't it Julie? well Julie Mancuso who was her I I don't know if, well I guess that's a or friend of me. I was thinking the, the German skier. if you the keep skier, bringing up the French skier that doesn't exist <laughs> I'm so sorry it's a German I guess I want to If you to missed be our last show, she's hung up on French skiing. <laughs> I don't know why you shouldn't have said Quavo. Is this an appropriate time for me? I think you should move right into your... To say, nobody asked, Please. but um, I want to talk about friendship. And the reason I want to talk about friendship is because I was contacted recently by a, a friend of mine, Leslie. Hi, Leslie. I'm one of our biggest fans, um, whom I went to high school with. And she now lives in Florida, which is where I grew up. And she was coming to Boston, said, let's get together for lunch. 47 years we hadn't seen each other. 47 years. And I was a little nervous. It was splendid. It was wonderful. It was great to see her. Like she, like she and I never left. Like there were no 47 years in between. And it, it reminded me of the importance of staying in touch. Um, a couple of years ago, a few years ago, uh, some of my best friends from high school. Leslie and I were good friends, but some of my best friends from high school contacted us, and we started getting together once every couple of years. So hi to Donna, hi to Lynn, hi to George, hi to Jerry. Um, that's it. That's it. I'm sorry. But I mean, and there's a growing circle of people who are now reconnecting via the show and via Facebook. And I also spoke to my son this weekend, who was um, up in Vermont with his friends, and it reminded me how I did not stay in, as, as close in touch with my friends uh, through the years as I should have, but he is not only grew up with a group of friends, but stays in touch with them, they get together constantly, um, and I really do think it changed his life and the way and the path that his I love life his took. Friends, the his way friends they... are great; they're like brothers. They take care of each other, brothers and sisters, because they're definitely girls involved as well. Um, Good luck with the fantasy draft, Adam. Um, and I, and me, I, let me I think it's one of the nicest things that, you know, nicest parts of his life, that he's still so close to those, those guys and, and, and young women, and that they really do stay in touch. And it, as I say, it reminded me of the importance of friendships, and my best friend Janet and I, um, and still up to mischief, and getting, I think it's as more and more important as we get older and older. I agree. Well put. Thank well, you very nobody much. Well, asked Anne Marie, but you told them and you told them well. Thank you very, very much. Very nice. And Diana I do Fancy. think the story of you and Leslie is really lovely. And I do think your son Check and out his some pictures by are way. fantastic. We have some great pictures on Facebook. Yes, we're, we're so busy on, on Facebook, <laughs> aren't we? Talk about friendships. All right. And then we have the to do our Central. broad we have to do our broad, broad salute, salute, of course. And we got and lots of nominate nominations from our uh, fans. So we got to go with the original girlfriends, the original broad girlfriends. Come yes. on, the Ricardos and the Mertzes. She used to really be look like Lucy, by the way, with the curly hair, but then she had her hair straight. Yes, and now I sadly look like Ethel. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> which, 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 of course, means where's that looking like woman? Fred, which I don't want to look like. But give me a couple of years with this straightening Lucy. process, and I will look like Fred. Um, but anyway, Lucy and Ethel, we tip our hats. They really were the original girlfriends. They had fun together. They, As you said, they had got into mischief together. They laughed. They, they laughed. laughed. Laugh, they howl. They call you know Lucy. They <laughs> cause Ricky to have a heart attack every show. That's great. And they just defined good and friends. friendships are important. We salute you. Hold them tight, Lucy. How about our point them. counterpoint? You want to grab one of those this week and see how we do? Absolutely. All right. Oh God, I hope it's a good one. See what come up with this week. Wacky do. Oh no. Can I throw no. this one away? No, you're not supposed oh, I'm to. Not okay, allowed go to ahead. Oh, no. John or Kate. I told you. Neither. Tried to tell you. I'll go with the eight. Okay, here's one. Okay. Italian or French food, although I say all of it. Hmm. I would go with Italian, but not red sauce Italian, in case you're cared. <laughs> um, I go with the north. Would that be southern? Southern Italian. I go with okay. the not, I, I, okay. not the tried and true, you know, veal parmesan, but the really fine Italian. I love both, by the way. Are we doing another one? Yeah, I'm going to do one time? for you. Oh, all right, all right. I piped in anyway. <laughs> Curly or straight hair? <laughs> hair, 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 hair. Now that the Olympics are over and Curly Obviously is straight. no longer with us. Oh. Obviously straight, curly, but I have naturally straight, straight, straight as a board. And you wish you had curly, and yes. I, isn't, isn't that, that funny, and I want Always straight. Always the case. Well, isn't that just the way it goes? And on that note. By the way, we're going to be talking plastic surgery coming up. 
So if you have any experiences with that. Yeah, we want to hear about them because one of us, and we could, should probably mention, is going under the knife at some point, and we'll talk a little m bit more about that next week. But you'll have to stay tuned. Stay tuned and stick with us on Facebook, of course, YouTube, My Turning, uh, Turning, Turning Point, Point TV, TV, which we love. And don't They're forget great, to listen to us on the Doug Steph and Good Day Show on Tuesdays. See you next Thanks, week. Thanks, everybody.